Hello and welcome to another Dragon PME tutorial. Now, I do apologise if I uh, sound a little bit quick, but I've done this tutorial three times now and I seem to run over the 10 minute allowance of YouTube, which is doing my head in. I do apologise. So, I'm going to bosh out some of the things straight away. Um, now, I've, I've had a, a question from 1337 Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy, Wonder Man, Wonder Girl, I don't know, I can't remember, um, who has asked, is gaming good on a Mac? Now, I'd just like to turn around and say, now, I don't fully know why, because I run a G4 Mac, and for those of you who don't know what G4 is, or what it is, or how it is, or whatever it means, um, because, uh, like me, you haven't been bothered to go around and have a look, or whatever, you're just lazy, like me, um, then G4 means that um, it doesn't run Windows, basically, because it's the old processors before they got the Intel processors. Now, Intel are clever, and they can swap between the Unix and the... Um, the DOS coding stuff or something like that. I'm not 100% sure on the technicalities, but basically it runs Windows because it can do DOS and it can run uh, Mac because it does uh, Unix or Linux. No, Unix is Unix the code? Anyway, my point is um, if you want to run a game like Halo, um, you would have to go out and buy the Mac version, which cost me £30. Or you could simply run it in boot camp which is free or if you wait until leopard comes out which is also um, built into the operating system um, you'll be able to boot up and spend 10 pounds on halo and play the same game the disadvantage is you've got to restart your mac and run windows and you get to see that grotesque operating system um, that runs very slowly gets blue streams of death and errors which some of you might like but if you want to play games that's what you've got to do battlefield um, half-life 2 yeah, if you want to play these games, you cannot do it in programs like Parallel Desktops and Crossover. Why? Because they require uh, DirectX and 3D maximization, specialization. I'm just using long words to sound posh, but I don't have a clue really. They just need um, 3D stuff that the Mac just can't do because um, you're trying to run PC 3D stuff or something. Do I make sense? Basically, um, the Windows XP has some kind of 3D thing that runs these executable files in 3D mode that uh, Mac just can't do for the simple fact you need this, that and the other like DirectX 5, 4, 20 or whatever um, and this, that and the other. Um, now I have seen people try and run games in parallel desktops but they don't work efficiently. They lag out, they skip frames, they do this, that and the other. So I'm telling you, if you want to play a game on a Mac, you will have to turn around and go, oh wait, I'll boot it up in Windows XP, which some of you might like to do. Um, if you want to run a program such as, um, such as MSN Messenger Live, you can run it through Crossover, which will in Mac run your executable file uh, in a little window like I've got with iTunes here. Um, it, it will work fine, perfectly. If you want to use Internet Explorer, you'll do the same. Um, Cost, I know, has a video out um, explaining how to do this, that and the other. Um, so I'm not going to go into that because he's got some pretty good videos, except this swears a little bit, which I don't mind, but it, I don't know. It, I suppose it gets a point. Anyway, my point before I run over and have to do this a fourth, a fifth, or sixth, uh, anyway. Um, it, yes, Macs are good for gaming. I installed Halo on Boot Camp on my friend Rachel's computer. She got an Intel Mac, iMac, um, and I tell you what, it was the best game of Halo I ever played. There was no drop frames. It was perfect graphics. In fact, it was a lot better graphics than I have on my PC. Um, although I am in the dark ages and I don't have the best PC in the world, um, it does run smoothly, perfectly, as if it was on a PC. If you want to run anything that's inherently PC, you can boot up in... Um, XP. This booting up in XP turns your Mac machine, the one with the little, uh, the white smoothness and the shininess and the, the Apple Mac logo, into a PC. Bearing in mind you do get your blue screens of death and your errors and all that. But if you really, really, really want to play your computer games, then that's the only way to do it, I'm afraid. On the other hand, however, if you do want to play something simple like Solitaire or Dominoes or Enigma, you can always find the DMG equivalent or if there isn't a DMG equivalent, run it in your Mac OS X um, environment using Crossover. It's perfect. You don't even need to run your Windows operating system for most things except gaming. Um, 
the likes of Office and all that jazz can be done directly in this operating system. And don't think, oh, you're going to be doing some kind of emulation like uh, Virtual PC and it's going to be really crap. It isn't. It runs it straight off as if it wasn't um, virtualized. The point in Virtual PC was to get a PC, but it's rubbish. I hate it. It's so slow. Um, in fact, I haven't used it in about 12 months. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, yeah. Uh, if you want to run a game, it runs perfectly, but the problem is you've got to run Windows, which um, it's in some cases is good. It's good. You can run the ad get best of both worlds with a Mac. Run Windows, get your games. Run Mac and get your stability. Um, I do recommend that if you're thinking about getting a Mac, you should wait until Leopard comes out because they've got a new operating system, which sh should hopefully blow the pants off Vista. But this is me um, just blabbering now. Um, I hope you've answered all your questions. Games run smoothly, perfectly um, in on ma on Max. I have seen it. Um, I played it, but unfortunately, I can't show you because I only have a G4, which can't run Windows. Um, the only thing I could show you is Halo, but I doubt it would work because my Mini Mac is very, very slow and very, very old, um, and it was made for switches like myself. Um, I hope you've learned something. If you haven't learned anything, then I've done a very bad job and I deserve a slap on the wrist. That's me. Ow. That was me slapping me on the wrist and it really hurt. Um, I'm just trying to think. Okay, I'll just refer back. What did you say? You said... Oh, no, I closed the window. Anyway, Wonderman asked, is gaming good on a Mac? Yes, it is, but it's not officially supported. Like, it's not something that's there straight away because the gaming market is so niche, you don't get much profit from gaming that um, Mac just simply don't want to do it because their profit comes from making things like um, Final Cut Pro and, um, and Logic Express and all that crap. Um, I hope you've learned something. Um, if there's anything else you would like me to add, um, there's a lot of information I haven't said in this tutorial that I did in the others, but I ran over by about five minutes. And listening to me rant on for about 15 minutes is not something that you want to hear. So, thank you very much for listening. Um, if you've got this far, very well done. I hope you have a very nice day and that I've uh, taught you something. If you haven't, please leave a comment below and say, Hey, don't pay me. You're a pain in the ass. Go away. And I shall. So, anyway. Thank you for listening. I hope my um, iTunes visualization didn't bore you too much because I had nothing really uh, to show you. Um, <laughs> thank you very much for listening. I'll see you later. Goodbye. And yeah, uh, think Mac. It's. Um, I'm trying to think of some kind of catchphrase, but it's clearly not working. But yes, once you go Mac, you'll never go back. <laughs>